city councilman? And mayoral candidate. He sold his soul for the ability to have people believe whatever he said. Built his whole career on it. Uh, but lately he's been getting kind of erratic. I think it's high time we punched his ballot. On my way. on its knees. Not Nevada, not the Feds, not anyone in the goddamn world. Tell it! I want to have your babies! The time has come for Vegas to stop suckling on the teeth of America KKKA. She never makes it easy, does she? Vote for me and pay the way. Oh, I better put a stop to this shit pronto. For an Vegas. Stand the down now! Vegas will not be truly great until we succumb to our animal instincts. That is why my first act as mayor will be to replace the city council with an army of house cats. Think of it. You love cat people. You will love cat governance. Egyptians worship cats and look at the society they built. The time has come to follow their lead. Often constituents will come up to me and go, Excuse me, Councilman Pickle, but I was just wondering how I could be smart like you. And I tell them the same thing every time. Eat your greens! And I only let I mean, eat money! Eat lots and lots of money! <laughs> the only way to build a genius intellect like mine... Scientists and nutritionists, they just want to control you! Only raw meat will give us all the power of our ancestors. I have studied the scrolls, and I know how our bodies work! Sacrifice of blood will ensure my victory. Glory to Vegas! Death take me! Prove your allegiance to Vegas by fighting! Fight! Fight to the death! I want to be your build the best Vegas you've ever seen. Don't like something in town? Tell me, and I'll tear it down myself with my bare hands! I'm here for you. Only you, the citizens of Vegas. Greatest city the world has ever seen. And I won't rest until we've conquered every other city in the country. Kick the left ear some of our fallen enemies and prizes to be displayed at City Hall. Vegas will only achieve true glory if we raise our children on a diet of eyes! Bring them all to me for training! Vegas will need an army if it wants to stand on its own after all! Why do I deserve to be your mayor, you ask? Well, it's simple. Just look at all I've accomplished. I brought peace to the Middle East. I invented the internet. 
You better believe that I would never lie to you. Unless you have another soul you can sell to become bulletproof, you won't last out there. You need to get inside the car. Why am I the best candidate? Because I fought a tiger! And won! I punched Osama Bin Laden into the sun! I breathe underwater! And will live for 10,000 years! I'm Ernie. And I want to be your next... I will not stop until Las Vegas is its own independence. <laughs> Let's see how you like it on mute. This guy's buckled up for his bumpy ride! When I was a boy, I grew up learning that the only true way to build a great society was to build an equal society. I still believe in this dream of equality, and as mayor I know exactly how to make it happen. We really want things to be equal. We all need to cut off our hand. Just imagine it. No more fast typers or awesome guitar players will only make the rest of us feel bad. Just a society of people working together to figure out a new way to get ketchup out of the bottle. Truly a utopia. what Las Vegas means. It means the meadows. But the meadows of what? I say it's a meadow of dreams. Our dreams. And we can dream what we want because when I'm mayor, I'll make all your dreams come true. Independence. Done. Casual every day. You got it. An all-puppy police force? Damn straight! No dream is too big for Mayor Pickles to accomplish! This guy just keeps going and going! Some people may say I'm a naive dreamer because I still believe in the limitless potential of Las Vegas. You're a filthy playground in the middle of the desert, they say. 
you've got no access to water and are just waiting for the sands to reclaim you, they say. But you know what? For everything we lack in water, crops, and seasons, we make up for in heart. And vast expanses of empty space that don't nuclear waste, but they're uh, mostly hot. get too caught up in the little day-to-day -day bits of running a city. Really prevents them from aiming for the top and thinking of a grand big picture like, like, like why can't we claim the moon for Las Vegas? Or, 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 or why can't wine come from our faucets? As your mayor, I promise that I will leave the day-to-day -day drag of running the city to the little guys and, and, and paint a big picture we can all be proud of. Can't wait to shut this guy up. You might not have known this before, but I'm convinced that my opponent in this race is an alien. Not an illegal alien like the kind from south of the border, but a bona fide extraterrestrial. Do you want Las Vegas being run by an alien? Course you don't. A vote for me is a vote for humankind. like an egg. This, this isn't right. I love Vegas with all my soul. Too bad that soul doesn't belong to you.